Welcome back to another Vlogmas video, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple cheese board for the holidays, so stay tuned to see how easy it is to make. So I will be using this glass cheese board, and for my cheeses, I will be using this creamy garlic Jack and Gilroy cheese, as well as this aged Gouda, and also I will be using a cheddar cheese. Now for my meats, I'm gonna be using some prosciutto, and typically you don't use salmon for a cheese board, but I love smoked salmon and my sister and I will like to have that with our cheese board for tonight. Now my twin sister already had crackers, so I'll be using these clubhouse crackers that I got from Aldi's, but any crackers or breadsticks will look great on your cheese board. And for my fruit, I'm gonna be using some fresh strawberries, some tangerines, a Granny Smith apple, and some red seedless grapes. And I love having mixed nuts on my cheese board, so I'll be using that, as well as using some dark chocolate. And my sister, I'll be using her hands to help do this video. So usually I like to begin first placing my cheese on the cheese board just to see how I like to design the layout. And then once I figure that out, I open up the cheese and start slicing those down. Now typically you don't cut cheese like this, but my sister's doing it, but it's all good. Next, I will grab my prosciutto. So she's just folding up the prosciutto and just placing that on the cheese board. Next, I'm grabbing my smoked salmon. Again, you typically don't use smoked salmon, but it's my cheese board, so that's what we're having tonight for our dinner. Now I'm gonna cut up my Granny Smith apple, and I like to slice those down and I'm gonna place that on the cheese board. Same with the tangerines, just gonna peel that and place that on the cheese board. Now, to make your cheese board really pop, don't be afraid to play around with a variety of fresh fruit. So I'm also gonna grab my strawberries. The different colors just really make the cheese board stand out, so definitely get a variety of colorful fruit for your cheese board. For my crackers, I'm just gonna take that and just place that around the cheese board. And I think having some chocolates on the cheese board is really nice. I think it makes the cheese board look really decadent. And I like having something salty, so I'm just gonna take some mixed nuts and just fill that around the pockets on the cheese board. And basically, that's it. Again, play around with different fresh fruit because it really makes the cheese board stand out and add some chocolate because I think it really does make a cheese board look nice and fancy. See, simple to make. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas video.